Back off, Mama Bear. What are you doing? One name stands out as a beacon of chaos and bravado when we talk about iconic characters, Ash Williams from the Evil Dead franchise. Ash, portrayed with unrivaled charisma by Bruce Campbell, is a cult hero who embodies the spirit of a reluctant yet fearless demon slayer. He's the guy who can turn a chainsaw-wielding hand into a fashion statement and still deliver one-liners with style. Ash's family tree, while not as well explored as the gruesome battles he's fought, holds its own share of intrigue. Let's find out a little about his personal life and the drama that it beholds. It's a one-of-a-kind journey for sure, because of course, every family is different and unique. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Ash Williams. When you talk about horror and mayhem, you cannot leave out the chainsaw-wielding, demon-slaying glory. Ashley Joanna Ash Williams. You see, Ash was just your average neighborhood supermarket clerk before his life took a sharp turn into the dark and dangerous. It all started during a seemingly innocent weekend getaway with some friends, when they crossed paths with body-possessing demons known as deadites. But Ash's encounter with these unholy companions was no accident. It it was destiny, a prophecy penned in a mystical book centuries ago deemed him the promised one, the chosen defender of humanity against the forces of evil. Our hero, Ash Williams, first graced the silver screen in 1981, brought to life by none other than Bruce Campbell. Now, coming back to the title of the video, Ash's Family Tree. Born on April 8, 1957 in Kenwood, Michigan, Ash was the product of the union between his father, Brock Williams, and his mother, Caroline. Williams. However, Ash's early life remains shrouded in mystery, save for one notable detail, his name. The poor guy got regularly thrashed by other kids for his feminine name. Not a great start in the playground, but it toughened him up. A few years after Ash's birth, his parents welcomed a second child, a daughter named Cheryl. Family life, it seems, was not meant to last. As they ventured into his teenage years, Ash's world began to unfold. His mother left the family, leaving Brock to raise Ash and Cheryl on his own. With only his father's influence to guide him, Ash adopted some of Brock's less admirable traits, turning him into a rebellious, party-loving troublemaker. Elk Grove, their small town, knew Ash Williams as the notorious bad boy who wasn't afraid of getting in trouble. During his youth, Ash made some lasting connections, like his best friend Chester Chet Kaminsky. He also had a romantic fling with Linda Bates. Brock even bought Ash a used 1973 Olds Mobile Delta 88 from the local Destruction Derby arena, setting the stage for many wild adventures. Plus, Ash was hitting the books at Kenwood County High School. But the teenage shenanigans didn't stop there. After parting ways with Linda Bates, Ash found himself another sweetheart named Linda, and, believe it or not, they ended up working together at the local S-Mart department store. Ash dreamt of taking Linda on a romantic vacation to Jacksonville, Florida, and he even booked it. But fate had other plans and it was during another ill-fated vacation that Ash's life would change forever. That story would take another video of its own, so let's jump into knowing a little more about his family members. Mr. Williams, I'm begging you. Yeah, well, now you can do it in high C. Oh. Brock Williams, father. In the small Williams family, first comes Brock Williams, the patriarch of this troubled clan. Brock was a man with two offspring, Ashley and Cheryl Williams, and he ran a hardware store nestled in the quiet town of Elk Grove, Michigan. Life took a dark turn when he and his wife, Caroline, decided to part ways, leaving Brock to shoulder the responsibility of raising their two children. As the years rolled on, the relationship between Brock and his son, Ash, became increasingly strained. It was during Ash his early years that he began to unconsciously or maybe knowingly mirror his father's less savory qualities, embracing a rude and chauvinistic demeanor. However, the breaking point in their already fragile connection arrived in 1982. Ash returned from a fateful trip to a remote cabin in the woods, where he confronted an ancient cursed book and malevolent spirits that possessed his friends, including his sister Cheryl. Ash recounted this terrifying nightmare to his father, but Brock, consumed by 
by grief over the loss of his daughter, couldn't bring himself to believe the unbelievable story. This refusal to support Ash, combined with the ridicule from the townsfolk, drove Ash away from Elk Grove, cutting off all contact with his father for the next three decades. The story took a turn when Ash, the long-lost son, returned to Elk Grove in 2016. Ruby, the sinister Dark One, lured him back. Ash's unexpected reappearance left Brock both astonished and disappointed. He had never hoped to see his wayward son again. Still, Brock reluctantly agreed to let Ash stay in the family home temporarily. However, what happened next mended the father-son relationship, and the storyline was quite intriguing. Apart from his talented son, in the arsenal of Brock Williams was the 12-gauge over-and-under shotgun known as the CZ-581, a weapon for home defense. Caroline Williams' mother. Caroline Williams is somewhat a lesser known figure in the family tree. With scant information about her life, what we do know is that she and Brock, her husband, decided to part ways during Ash and Cheryl's teenage years. The reasons behind their separation are not very well known, leaving us with more questions than answers. As for Caroline's fate after leaving the Williams family, it's a riddle that remains unsolved. According to Brock Williams, she had passed away sometime before 2016. In the world of Ash vs. Evil Dead, Caroline's name may not have been uttered, but it made a subtle appearance on Ash's marriage certificate, as Ruby's secret stash of intel revealed. This document listed her as the wife of Brock Williams, shedding a little light on her existence. While the TV series may not have delved into Caroline's character, some comic book depictions have given us glimpses of her. In the 2006 one-shot Tales of Army of Darkness, an unnamed mother appeared as a deadite in a short story titled Necronomicon. Another version of Ash's mother from Earth 818793 made a brief appearance in Army of Darkness, where the young Ash took a photo with a deadite Santa at a shopping mall. Lastly, in the 2014 comic Ash and the Army of Darkness 6, we caught a glimpse of Ash's mother in a flashback bearing some resemblance to Linda, another significant character in Ash's life. Caroline Williams, like the rest of the Williams family, remains a mysterious piece in the puzzle of Ash's adventures and the supernatural forces that surround him. Just listen to what you're saying. I don't care how it sounds. I want to get out of this place right now. Cheryl Williams, sister. The next very important member of the family is Cheryl Williams, the younger sister of Ash and the daughter of Brock and Caroline Williams. Cheryl was one of five unfortunate souls who embarked on a fateful journey to an isolated cabin in the mountains, a trip that would turn their lives into a nightmare. Cheryl made her debut in the 1981 horror classic Evil Dead and later reappeared in season two of the spine-tingling Ash vs. Evil Dead TV series. Ellen Sandwise brought this character to life on the screen. As for Cheryl's early years, there isn't much known about her upbringing. She was born a few years after her older brother, Ash, somewhere between 1958 and the early 1960s. Sibling rivalry was a common occurrence in their childhood, with frequent squabbles erupting whenever they engaged in games together. During her teenage years, Cheryl kept a secret from Ash. She entered into a romantic relationship with Ash's friend, Chet Kaminsky. They carefully concealed their affair from Ash, with which added a layer of complexity to the family dynamics. But what truly set Cheryl apart was her artistic aspirations. Somewhere along her journey from childhood to the ill-fated cabin trip, Cheryl developed a deep passion for art. And I don't know boo about you. Candace Barr? Yeah, and? Candace Barr, ex-wife. Next in the Williams family is the one who had a fleeting presence in Ash's life known as Candace Barr. She was the mother of Brandy Barr, the daughter of Ash Williams, and their connection was as complex as it was brief. Candace made her debut in Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3, a character brought to life by Katrina Hobbs. In their shared past, Candace was no stranger to adventure and lust, and she had a memorable encounter with Ash that possibly led to their togetherness. Their paths crossed when Candace flirted with Ash, leading to a night of drunken passion at the back of a delta, all under the watchful eye of Ruby. This whirlwind encounter resulted in the birth of Brandy Barr, the result of their brief connection. Though Ash and Candace technically tied the knot, it wasn't a union steeped in sincerity or seriousness. Their marriage was more of a drunken escapade 
Far from a loving commitment, soon after, Ash vanished into thin air, leaving Candace to raise Brandy alone. Candace, it seems, chose to clean up her act and focus on providing the best life possible for Brandy, given the circumstances. She became a dedicated mother, nurturing a strong bond with her daughter, and doing her utmost to shield Brandy from the bizarre world Ash had been entangled in. Brandy, don't. What is your problem, fuckboy? Brandy Barr, daughter. Meet Brandy Barr, a long-lost daughter who emerged as a central character in Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3. Ariel Carver O'Neill brought her character to life, adding a new layer of complexity to the saga. Our journey with Brandy began at school, tackling some graffiti that she herself had a hand in creating. She was joined by her friend, Rachel Manning, and the two navigated the typical challenges of high school life. But their world took a sinister turn when a fellow student, in the guise of the school mascot turned into a deadite. The chaos that ensued prompted Brandy's mother to call for help, bringing Ash and Pablo to the scene. Soon, Brandy found herself living with Ash in his house, taking refuge in her late Aunt Cheryl's room. She sought solace in conversations with her high school principal, unaware of the true identity lurking in her family's shadows. Tragedy struck when Brandy attended her mother's funeral, where she had a heart-to-heart -heart with Ash about his place in her life. Brandy, unlike Ash's seasoned companions, wasn't desensitized to the horrors unleashed by the Necronomicon. Her initial shock and horror at the escalating situation forced upon her gave way to resilience. She learned to handle herself in the face of evil, adjusting to the bizarre world her father was a part of. Despite her initial reservations about Ash, Brandy shared some traits with her father, hinting at the complex bond between them. As her journey unfolded, Brandy added a unique dimension to the ever-complicated Williams family tree, proving that even in the midst of of supernatural chaos, the blood that bound them was stronger than they could have ever imagined. Marvelous verdict! The Williams family tree, intricately entwined with Ash's blood-soaked legacy, is a testament to the enduring appeal of the Evil Dead franchise. From the fiery charisma of Ash to the unexpected arrivals of estranged wives and long-lost daughters, this family tree reflects the series' ability to seamlessly blend horror and humor. Despite the supernatural chaos and harrowing battles that have defined Ash's life, it is human connections that breathe life into the narrative. In in our journey through the Williams family tree, we've witnessed the complexity of these relationships, the resilience of the characters, and the ever-present supernatural forces that shape their destinies. Whether it's the persistence of Brandy or the mysterious past of Candace, each member of this family adds a unique layer to Ash's story, making the Evil Dead universe a captivating corner of the comic book world. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thank Thanks, everyone.